Within the current season, snipers have now become a viable tool to use when up against champions, thanks to the anti-barrier sniper rifle mod. However, as most of you can tell, the following mod costs 6 armor slots to use, which is not only bizarre for those who wish to use it, but also stupidly costly for something that only works within one season. Why such a design choice was implemented, we don't know, but we should hopefully see this get adjusted in the near future, as currently it's not feasible. Now, this isn't the point of the video, I just wanted to rant a bit. In Season 16, we had a bunch of new weapons get introduced, with some being fantastic to the general base, such as the Peace of Mind, Explosive Personality, Sweet Sorrow, etc. And yet, out of all these, not many people have spoken about this one weapon, which was pretty blatant in the many eyes in game. Faultless Sniper Rifle is an adaptive frame weapon with 4 rounds in its base magazine and has pretty flexible stats upon inspection. Compared to the many other primary sniper rifles in game, the following is good for PvE use with the majority of its perks pointing directly at the weapon's approach, while PvP is usable but not better than the other more meta refined snipers in game. So while the CN16 weapons all had some unique combos that made them really unique to other weapons in this category, what makes this weapon special to all the rest of the snipers in game? Well, let's take a look at the sniper perks itself. This sniper rifle is the only primary sniper in game that can get overflow in this third column, and this is actually amazing for PvE for this season because of the anti barrier mod designed for them. You see, with overflow, your weapon will expand its base magazine when you collect special or heavy ammo, which will easily be accessible when you have the scavenger mods on. From a base of 4 in a magazine, you can go up to 7, and by having additional magazine increase in mods and perks, you can go up to 14 rounds in one magazine, and this will allow you to easily break a champion's shield, damage them, and even outright kill them without needing to reload. On top of that, you also have the firing line perk in the final perk column, which will give you a 20% damage buff on precision hits. So combining the two and then adding on Fondle Might to the mix will allow you to rain havoc on any barrier or combatant you face. Is this enough for you to swap from Arblish, Wish Ender and any other primary weapon capable of doing so? Maybe, as this will depend on the activity you play and where you tend to use it the most. Remember, the following weapon is Stasis and any match game content you play with it may be a struggle unless you have something to counter it. You also have to remember that although King's Fall weapons with Rune of Over Origin trait is better in the long run when in a team, on your own it's useless, so Faultless with Overflow has a wide advantage compared to the newer stuff. 14 rounds and probably more in one magazine can make a big impact when dealing with bosses or champions while on your own, and it's surprising as hell that not many people look at this role and use it more often. A good example of this can be when you're doing Ulrix at King's Fall and you run out of ammo for your linear on the final phase. Having a large magazine such as that on hand allows you to not worry so much about needing to reload and can focus flat out on doing damage continuously. It's great for the long run and I can see it being useful in time once people experiment a bit more with non-meta loadouts. Nonetheless, it's still a unique weapon with a great perk roll that everyone should at least try and grab for this season and in the near future. You never know if this might become meta in the near future or even now. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a sub, a share, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny banter and content. Once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.